Hi everyone, I'm going to be repairing, or I I am repairing my um, Civic Type R bolster. As you can see, it's flattened right here. You can actually feel the metal, uh, metal, sorry. And, um, you know, I try to fix this as much as I can. So I'm going to show you how to remove and add a foam inside. Um, so what I did so far is remove um, this 14, is that 14 or 12? Let me check. Uh, that thing is a 12 millimeter. This is a 12 millimeter nut. So first of all, you need to remove this adjuster right over here. This resides right here, right? Um, just like this. And then uh, there's a cover on top of it. So to remove this cover, uh, you need to pry from the side right here. There's a clip right there. And um, there is a clip right over here on the side as well. So pry them both on the side and on the bottom. And this should pop off. So you need to pop this off. Take out the 12 over here. And this comes off. Now, on this, I don't know how to remove this. I don't want to force it out and break it because... I wouldn't know where to get it. I mean, Honda dealer, but I'm going to leave this for now because I don't need to fully, fully remove this. So, this cover, you pull it out. It's held on by a clip right over here. Right there in the bottom. That's a retainer right there. So, and there's one more retainer right over here. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just hold it down like that. All right, so look at all the foam falling out. It's been snowing down there for quite a while. And so, remove the little clips like this, unhook it, and then unhook this piece right over here that goes right there. All right, and then there's another one underneath, and then we're ready to um, fold this out. So we're gonna remove this right here. All right, guys, so I peeled this out, and um, let me see here. Peel this out. And just like this, I don't need to fully remove it. So this is the damage right here throughout the years. If you're not careful enough, guys, this is what happened to your seat. How you um, try to get out, just make sure that you lift yourself here and try to avoid this at all costs. Because look, so what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to you could get another foam like this, but this one is built into the other side too. Look, they're together. It's like one whole piece. So what I'm going to do is just going to repair this, glue it. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. But what I'm going to use is I'm going to use an expansion foam. And then I'm going to shape it. And then tape around it so it won't come off. So, you know what I'm saying? So let's, uh, let's clean that up first. And see what we can do about this guy right here. Oh, wee, look at all that junk over here. Sadly. Yikes. All right, since I don't have a foam that will, you know, like a professional where they cut it off and they make a new one. So I got one of these um, gaps and cracks. You stuff it. So I stuffed it. See, it glued it on, on both sides. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put something here so it won't crack anymore and I'm gonna shave this off I'm gonna cut it with a blade I'll blade it out and then I'm gonna cover it with a really thin foam on top of it maybe but right now it's pretty stable see the top will be stable and a lot harder once all dried up go ahead and shave it off I did shave it off and then uh, see that it's a whole piece now there's no more crack you can actually press on it all right, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, everyone. So I finished it. I added some foam inside. so I couldn't get a shot, but um, you can add your foam on uh, just to make it soft. See how the top part is soft. So I added some uh, thin foam. That way it has a little cushion because uh, the fill the gap is kind of hard, not soft. So anyway, this is done. So you can see there's no more falling foam because before when you tap it like this the foam falls out but um, i have to clean this up and yeah that's uh 
This foam is soft right here. It's a little bit thick right here because I added more foam right here, but it's still soft. As you can see, repaired it, guys and gals. So as you can see, this is there's some hard spots, but that's okay. At least this is fully restored now without costing a lot of money. If you're in a budget like me, there it is. Alright guys, I hope that helps you on how to fix your Type R, Civic Type R, bolster on both sides. You can actually do it and how to remove this without dismantling the seat from the base. God bless everyone. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Please subscribe.